Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I am going to be testing out some new Uoma products. Uoma is a black owned makeup brand and I've heard a lot of really, really, really good things about it. So I was super pumped to try it. I finally got my hands on some. You are absolutely going to want to see how this turns out because spoiler alert, it turns out well. <laughs> I don't want to tell you too much, but I'm incredibly pleased. We're testing out these three products. I will say I got these all on sale. It does seem like they've been having sales on their website. So definitely go check out their website. Make sure you're supporting your black owned businesses always and forever, not just for now. This is mostly a first impressions on these new products, but I'll also throw in a few just like regular finishing the face kind of things. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and leave a comment down below and come say hello to me. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram. That is where you will get all updates about my life and about my channel and just about everything. <laughs> if you wanna see how I got this look, just keep on watching. I have already primed my face using my two favorites, no surprise here, just the Benefit Professional and the Milk Hydro Grip, the perfect combo if you ask me. And now we are going to go on to the new products that I am so excited to try. First new product is the Uoma Woke Concealer. This is in Fair Lady T3. It's a pretty small little container. How many fluid ounces are even in here? It's not even a full fluid ounce. It's 0.17 fluid ounces. That's like no product at all. If I love this concealer, I'm going to be really sad because there's just like no product. She feels nice just on initial feel. Dear God, I need to cover this monster up. You'll know this concealer is good if it covers up that wicked freaking zit I have. I've had it for like two weeks now and it won't go away. Let's see how this beauty blends out with a sponge. It feels really nice so far. And it's blending out well. So far, so good with this concealer. I really like the way it blended out. Yes, I'm gonna use my favorite powder just so we can eliminate any problems that the powder might bring. And I'm gonna do the Cody Airspun just under the eye. Besides the nose. Oh no, I did not top off my eyelid. My bad. <laughs> oh, forgot we have to cream contour. Oh well, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Since we're talking about cream contouring, we are going to go right into the Awoma Contour and Highlight Stick. I'm really, really excited about this. I've heard a lot of people say they really, really love it. And as you know, if you've seen my other videos in the recent past, I have recently gotten really into cream contouring. I'm not a complete professional yet, but I really love it. I've swatched it and it looks freaking beautiful. This is the Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Duo Stick in Fair Lady 3. Um, I'm just gonna put it where we normally bronze and see how it goes. Ooh, she looks dark, but hopefully it's all right. I'm gonna start with a little and add more if I need to. Hit that pesky jawline. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, the earrings gotta go. I can't, I can't blend and have these earrings on. She's a little orangey for my skin tone, but I'm not necessarily hating it. Well, I truly don't think we're gonna need to add a bronzer on top of this. She is blending out super beautifully though. Now with each product you buy, <laughs> there is always a learning curve. And mine is that I used way too much, like way too much product. A little goes like the longest way. Now that being said, it's blending out really well. And once it's cleaned up, I think it's gonna look really nice. I'm gonna put some concealer right underneath the contour, pull it down just a little bit. This will also give us a little bit of coverage down there, which is always nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do for the nose is I just wiped off all of the powder and the concealer from the nose, and I'm gonna kind of start all over again. So I'm gonna take the contouring stick, 
put it where I want. Again, you really just really don't need a lot. I just put way too much on. Hopefully we can counteract it a little bit by then putting the concealer down the nose. And I'm even gonna put it underneath it a little bit. And then I'll blend this all out and then we'll powder it again just to really set it in place um, so that we shouldn't get any gross powder and cream mixture stuff because that's not cute. So next I'm going to go to the highlight. This is a really beautiful like goldy highlight and hopefully it's not too dark for my skin like the contour was. But I'm just gonna put it on the highlights of the face. Probably blend it out with my finger. So far it is really beautiful. It's not as beaming as I usually go for, but I honestly think it's because I just bought the wrong color stick. I feel like if I would have gone for the number two instead of the number three, it would have been like the perfect colors. And this contour maybe wouldn't look so orangey and this highlight would maybe be a little more beaming on my skin tone, but I still really like it. It still really works for me and the product itself is so, so good. I'll even see since we did powder our nose, how it looks going down the nose. Maybe the highlight will play well with some powder. And honestly, it does. It does play pretty well. Good for you, little highlight. You did it. Okay, I just popped on a natural looking brow. We are all done with this little contour stick. It's so good. The formula itself, I think, is probably like one of the creamiest I've used. I think it blended out probably the easiest out of all of the cream contours I've used so far. Um, the highlight's really beautiful. Make sure you get your right color because I definitely need to go down a shade, but I love it. Uoma is bomb. And this concealer, so good. Like that finish, ooh. I can't wait to try the last product. <sighs> I'm impressed so far. <laughs> I'm just gonna put on some blush. I'm gonna use this Beauty Bakery little Neapolitan bar and I'm just gonna use that bright pink and just give us a little bit of color. Mixing powders and creams can be a little bit tricky. So I just like to pat on the blush when I'm doing that. And I am gonna stick this uh, blush shade in my crease. Just give my crease a little bit of color as well. And then just to kind of make them blend together a little bit better, I'm gonna just take my sponge, try to find like a clean section of it. I'm gonna kind of pat over the cheek. We've got some pinkiness going on. Uh, so I am going to just heighten that with this Marbled Metals in Entwine from Siete London. I'm just gonna stick my finger in that, pat it on my eye. I'm gonna take that same brush I had the blush on and I'm just gonna blend this out so things are seamless. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for Friday's video. So this will be coming out Tuesday. Um, I upload every Tuesday and Friday at 6 p.m. And the second video this week is going to be a vlog. My first vlog, I'm so excited. I've never done a vlog before, so like should be interesting but I think it'll be fun. So this might be my new go-to eye. Um, I'm obsessed. Just blush everywhere and then entwine on top. Freaking so cute. The most glam minimalist look you could ask for, yes. I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna do a winged liner. Okay, so we've got a wing on, we've got mascara on. This eye came so, so easily. This eye, I had to take off like three times. So it's got a little bit of like black smearing on like the outer corner, which honestly kind of looks like I smoked it out a little bit, but I don't have it over here. So it looks a little lopsided. But honestly, this look doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not going anywhere today. But just know that if you struggle with winged eyeliner, you are not alone. I've been doing my makeup for a very long time. I have a freaking YouTube channel on it. I feel like I can speak on being able to apply makeup and I still struggle with a wing. So like, don't feel bad. <laughs> Before we move on to my favorite part, 
and our last Uoma product. I am going to pop my earrings back on and spray down my face using my new favorite. Honestly, I'm obsessed with this now. This is the Beauty Bakery setting spray for the final new Uoma product that I have, which I am so excited to use. I swatched it on my hand and it looks really nice. This is the, well, let's read it. The Uoma Boss Gloss Liquid Marble. And this one's in Ambition. Um, let's just look at it. Um, does that not scream my name? Because it does. Um, but it is like a gloss. It's not fully opaque. And you know I love a fully opaque lip. So I'm going to put a liner underneath it. And then we're going to put this on. I'm just going to use this ColourPop lippy pencil in, in something. What's it in? Oh, 951. Ugh, and I just think ColourPop's lippy pencils are incredible. Now that we've got the lip pencil down, I'm gonna top it off with this beautiful Uoma. I also love, love, love the packaging. This like steel blue. <laughs> yes, please. Oh boy. It's so beautiful. I am gonna try to get right to the edge since it is pigmented and I really want the color of the gloss to really pop. I don't really want that liner to show through. Um, I'm completely obsessed with this. It looks so nice. It feels nice. It's not sticky at all. I don't like it as much as the Fenty lip gloss, but I think it's a little different. Like it just feels more like a mixture between a gloss and a liquid lip rather than just a gloss. But I would say if I'm reaching towards a gloss specific look, I would probably reach for the Fenty Beauty, but I will absolutely be using this again. Probably this combo. I think this combo like just looks really good together. Honestly, once I put that contour on, I wasn't sure how it was gonna go, but it really, really came together for us. I'm very pleased with how this turned out. Uoma might be like one of my favorite brands right now. I haven't been this excited about three new products at the same time for a really long time. Not a single one of these products let me down today. You girls impressed. Oh, I love it. And I love that they are a black owned makeup brand. Uh, please go support black owned makeup brands, all black owned businesses. With products like this, you literally have no excuse. These are so good. I'm incredibly like excited and rejuvenated from this look and just the excitement of having these great products. Oh my gosh, we have to talk about the record of the day. I have talked before about Casey Musgraves. I talked about her most recent album, but this is the album that came before that. This is pageant material and it is so good. I know a lot of people who are like, Kelsey, I don't like country music. Then you do not know Casey Musgraves. <laughs> I'm telling you, her music is country, but with so much like pop and rock and like, it's just so good. She is so freaking talented. I saw her when she opened for Harry Styles at Madison Square Garden and she is just incredible. I promise you, you will not regret it. There's a song called Late to the Party on there that is like the most romantic song I have ever heard. I will say she does talk about like growing up in a small town and I grew up in a really, really small town. So I do relate to it. Like maybe I have a little bit of an in that way, but I promise you it is so good. Go check it out. I don't have much else to say except thank you so much for watching. I love you all.